5G has uh, three main features or attributes that, uh, that make it very attractive. One is that it offers orders of magnitude higher speeds. Currently, 4G offers roughly 100 megabits per second. 5G, on the other hand, will offer close to 20 gigabits per second. Second, you can expect a very low latency. That means the time taken for any net, uh, uh, any communications in response time uh, is also extremely low. The third thing is it's that now we are going from communications between individuals to communication between things. There is this whole emerging area of, in fact, uh, yes, uh, an emerging area of the Internet of Things, IoT, as it is called. If what we are hearing is correct, then early 2021, we can expect uh, a, an auction of 3.5 gigahertz spectrum. And after that auction, maybe in a few months after that, we can expect. So towards the second half of 2021, I would say is the earliest we can expect 5G services. Vodafone in particular is in serious financial uh, crisis. So uh, whether these companies will have the resources or are the ability to raise funds to buy this spectrum is an issue. The second issue, as I mentioned, is that uh, spectrum that is being auctioned, the 3.5 gigahertz band spectrum, is itself in limited supply. India is not uh, does not have sufficient amounts of spectrum. We need close to about 100 uh, <clears throat> gigahertz of uh, 100 megahertz of spectrum for each operator, which can, at the moment is not available. This whole area of driverless cars, this autonomous uh, vehicles. Now this is hugely exciting. It, uh, for example. If you are working with a, with a driverless car, you don't need to maintain the same kind of distance between two cars that you would normally want to do on the road when you're driving yourself. So there are similarly, if you want to do remote surgery, you, know, you might be able to do some very, very sophisticated surgery uh, from a, 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 by controlling devices at a, uh, in a totally different place. All these things are going to be possible and enabled by 5G services. And uh, so clearly we expect a, uh, the impact of 5G to be transformational.